All right, welcome back to Bone Dry Bonsai. I wanted to do some updates. I got some really nice comments. I appreciate the comments. I know it's been a while since I've posted, but uh, it's really nice to hear from you all. See, the oaks are leafed out. Everything's leafed out, almost. Yeah. There's the red oak. So right here is the uh, Japanese gray bark elm. Another deciduous oak behind it, Quercus lavata. The uh, dwarf wisteria, root over rock. certainly survived our harsh California winter. That's the flowering quince. It did flower. This is one of the weeping willows. I think I'm going to take one of the viewers' suggestions and uh, chop that right there at the base of all those limbs and try and get some new roots started. Those are twisted up white ash, I believe, and the wisteria did finally leaf out this year. I wish I could figure out how to grow branches on that thing. My little bougainvillea planting. And this pine that I collected is, is really doing well. No cones on this, so or candles. I don't I don't know if it's I don't know. I don't know what it is yet. I've got another little interior live oak or coast live oak, I'm not really sure. In the back there. These Australian willows here were just long, tall, straight shoots about a week ago. And I hacked them back and it looks like it's causing some budding. Here's the sweet gum. And the juniper. Another oak. The Meyer lemon is behind the oak there. It's got blossoms. The olive tree, I did chop a couple of branches just to see what would happen. Not sure how to figure that thing out. This juniper that I I really thought I mangled is doing well. Now my Michelia needs the wire to come off and uh, work on those straight shoots. Got a small Japanese maple my little tiny one and then that is the planting of all the sprouts that I did all together I don't know that I just don't I don't think there's a reason why you don't see white elm in all the bonsai magazines I think because they just grow long straight branches that are hard to get to it's not hard for me anyway to get to <laughs> but a little closer to the trunk the uh, the little alder that came back from Washington with us one of them survived and my dragon willow got a couple of branches that died but all in all it's uh, doing its thing I need to cut it Leaves have all hardened off now. The Norfolk Island pines are surviving. This one kind of got knocked back by one of the dogs. I think I'm just gonna let it happen. My rose. No flowers on the rose, but it's alive. Juniper in the back behind it there that I shaped last year in its nursery pot got started. When it gets good and hot, I'll be 
planting that. This is that aspen grove. Some dead, some alive. These were collected in Wyoming. Some, you know, there needs to be some dead trees in a grove of aspens. That's the uh, Suzuki azalea. I don't know if I'll get flowers this year or not. Potentia looks happy. And the Monterey Cypress. It's got lots of good growth. Need to make some decisions this year. Cut a little shorter. And uh, maybe select some branches that I want to keep. This is the boxwood. It did fall this year. And uh, I had to put it in a different pot. I kind of like it better. Um, but I left it on the bench for quite a while out of its pot. And yeah. So it doesn't have any real good growth, but you know, I did hack the hell out of it. My other little nursery container boxwood in the back there is uh, needing to be in a bonsai pot. That's the one that I did not wire. And this is my Chinese pistache. Still doing okay. And my ginkgo. Finally, putting on leaves. I don't know, maybe I'll be able to figure out how to get a branch out of that this year. A sycamore tree that kind of got planted in a funky way. Just wants to grow straight, tall and straight. Blue Atlas cedar behind it. Don't have a clue how to prune that thing or when. The geraniums are doing okay. That's the other boxwood there in the nursery container that I did wire. One of my Thuya occidentalis. And the Schifflera that I just really chopped a couple of weeks ago because it was just, it looked like two palm trees and that's not what I'm looking for. This is the uh, birch. White bark birch, white bark birch? White bark birch, all leafed out, nice. This little juniper went through some damage. It fell and it broke and I don't know if that green's gonna hold on or not. I really don't. But uh, the Alberta spruce really putting on good growth that needs to be reduced and I again I you know missed repotting I uh, I didn't repot anything this year I swear I got into other stuff and and uh, most of what needed to be repotted needed to come out of nursery containers and into bonsai pots so I'm not scared that I blew anything. It'll survive in its nursery pot, but that's not what I wanted. The Mugo Pine got quite a bit of growth, which is nice. Maybe I'll be able to do some selection and some wiring. And my choice of C, Aztec Pearl. It's got flowers on it right now. Really pretty flowers. Another sycamore behind it. It's the tall straight one. Not much character. Another Quercus lobata. It's a valley oak. Still got its wire on it. I don't see bite, and I'm not too worried about bite anyway because it's fairly rough bark tree eventually. The date palm is alive and growing. Another sycamore. This is the one that had the most character. It's got good leaf count. 
and a golden juniper. Here's the dwarf holly. Dwarf holly just going nuts. And I found flowers on it the other day for the second year in a row. There's one way in the back there. I'm hoping that it'll that it'll put on some more. This is that internet elm I bought that I was gonna see what you could get off the internet. And I don't think it's a Chinese elm. I don't know what it would be, but it's certainly not deciduous like my other elm. It uh, kept leaves all year, all, all winter. And then lastly on this bench, I, I had a comment, appreciate the comment, appreciate all the comments about uh, this planting. That's the willows in the pot that I made. The pot's finally getting some little bit of weather to it, which I like. And uh, the trees are doing fine. Need to do some branch selection. So my olive ended up being a bone dry bummer. It's toast. But this little Japanese maple planting is uh, flourishing, boy. And the leaves are hardened off and it probably needs to be cut. And then my, uh, my redwoods are also just doing okay. If I could keep the squirrels out of them, the damn squirrels keep getting in there and just tearing it up. I need to get them off of this bench. But uh, yeah, it's, sorry about the background. The acorns are uh, becoming trees. And this is the collected Sitka spruce that I brought home from Washington. They're doing okay. I got that one that has a lot of new, I don't know what you call them. Are they buds? Spruce buds? I know you can eat them. And then the little ones are all surviving. It's just that other one that didn't make it. I'm gonna just leave it in the planting and Start breaking off branches as they grow, as they get dry and brittle, and try and make it look like a dead one, because it is a dead one. The Portulacaria afras got attacked. Probably a damn rat. Now I don't blame them. I mean, they're pretty tasty. You can eat them. They're all right when they're nice and young and tender. Then they get a little sour. And Sarissa. I have cut it this spring because it just goes nuts. I'm loving my moss. And here's the little Sarissa forest. I cut it too. What we got out of the maple tree, the seedlings that we planted, that's what made it. So what I want to do, because I got another comment, and also because I should have done this already, is take a look at the Chinese elm. There it is. It's got leaf count, lots of leaf count. So what I'm hoping is going to be a triple trunk because of this ground layer that I did. I, it's got to have roots. It's got to. I mean, the, as much cutting as I did on that thing, I don't see how it could have survived unless it grew new roots. And I know I should have done this earlier, but... Uh, 
I didn't. Like I said, I've just been doing other things, you know. I got this kind of love-hate relationship with YouTube because I hate YouTube. But I love the people that are out there commenting and liking and watching. And I love the creators. But I can't stand the corporation. So... I don't know what the best way to do this is. I really haven't got a clue. I know this is really loose granular soil at the top. But I do still need to loosen the bottom. I think I'll, I think I'll try just taking this away. And... Uh, then make an attempt getting the tree out of the pot. All right, well, let's just see. I, 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 there has to be some roots. But so far, seeing much of anything. I really expected to get roots way up here. So I think I'm safe to do this because all I intend to do is cut the bottom out of it. Off of it. Away from it. And not really not looking to do a big like root prune on it for a repotting. So yeah, I'm gonna put this in something here. Get all anxious and I don't think I need to worry too much about what's going on inside of this down in this container because everything down here should be dead. I mean if you watched my video Really, I mean, I cut it back. I, I took that trunk of that tree pretty skinny. <laughs> I was actually kind of a little bit worried about how skinny I did take it. So unless the roots grew down, you know, the, the danger with the way I did this, I guess, is that those roots could have gone down into this existing soil as they certainly didn't go out, which sucks. Because I really wanted them to just grow out right there beneath that wire that I put around the trunk. So I'm gonna tease a bit of this back. Get the start of some moss. I hate to kill the moss, but it's just gonna have to grow back. So right now I'm, I'm calling this not a success. I don't see this as a success right now, just because of the fact that I should have already done this. Now I'm. I was really hoping for some radial roots up high here. And uh, then just chopping the bottom of that off and it's not happening. I don't have any roots at all up where I want them. I don't see it. I don't know how the roots below could have survived. I could have a living root down here this low is beyond me because I girdled that thing I mean 
I really, mm, I just don't understand. I guess elms can be uh, pretty tough when it comes to callousing back up and and living. See, I was hoping to find all this dead and just a trunk to have to chop up to a root line. guess I'm gonna get drastic dad can I grow roots now see I wanted roots way up here there's no way I can grow roots like that now so I think what I've got to do is I've got to replant it did have it see that's not a bad root base if I had a decent if I if if I if I liked what was going on with this trunk and then had created the right branching the root base that I've got going on this tree would be a pretty decent root base for a bonsai tree but I don't want what looks like a, you know, in scale, a, uh, I don't know, what would that be in scale? Like a five foot trunk and then three branches coming off of it. I wanted it to be a triple trunk. And it's not going to be, so, not yet anyway. All I could do now, put it in the pot, I was going to put it in this pot, I don't know if I should re-injure that now and see if roots just grow from that point. I mean, I guess it's worth a try. I had already prepared this. This was actually what my ficus tree was growing in. So yeah, you didn't see the ficus trees on the update because the ficus, tree, ficus trees are no more. I decided I didn't want to be playing the in and out game. And so I thought I'd see if uh, they could survive our temperatures. And they cannot. I think their threshold is about 47 or 48 degrees. So I'm just doing like one layer of aeration. This is all bigger than quarter inch. I want to mound this in the middle. This is going to be, I don't know, I don't know if I should, doggone it. 
I'm going to get it settled in the pot and then I think I will try and re-injure it. I'd like to be able to see all three of those even though this isn't like going to be its permanent home now. This whole mess is going to have to be done again. So now I hope you know what not to do when you air layer your Chinese elm. I'm not sure I know, but uh, certainly don't have to be afraid to girdle it and girdle it deep. I mean, take it back deep. I really. I really would have thought that I had gone way far enough on this thing. No, I'm not looking for any kind of super permanent position on this thing. I just want it to uh, survive this. And Then maybe I'll try it again. So I did give up my subscription to Mirai Live. I, uh, I really like it a lot. I dig Ryan Neal and how he teaches and uh, what he talks about as far as timing and all of that. But man, my head was about to explode. I. Uh, I just can't take the information, it's overload. And uh, you know, I think he's talking, I mean, I don't get me wrong, I think, he, I think he speaks on your level, but you know, the information he's given is like for the bonsai practitioners, he would call it. And I'm not a bonsai practitioner, I don't intend to be a bonsai practitioner, I don't wanna be a bonsai practitioner. I. Uh, I want to have some nice trees in the backyard. I don't ever intend to take anything to a show. Or uh, try and impress anybody else with my vast array of bonsai talent. But I do want to do it well, and, and he, he teaches how to do it well, he does. I mean, it's all, all kinds of good stuff, but you know, it's just, it's another 18 bucks a month. I don't really want to shell out. So yeah, this looks like shit. You guys are seeing it live as it happens. Nothing fake going on at Bone Dry. <laughs> so I got less roots. I better take uh, some of this top off. It's all actually, you know, not looking bad. You got. don't think I, th I want this little one here growing out of the base along with this bigger branch. So I'm just doing fundamentals. If it's, if it's got three branches coming out of the same spot, including the main branch of the trunk, taking it back to two. I wish I'd have kept that one earlier. 
This branch grows into this branch. So I'll see if I can get something to happen further up and I'll take this back to that smaller branch. It's a dead tip. This thing swoops back into the tree. I don't think I want that going on. I'm going to come all the way back to this little tiny it goes right left right it's got a couple of branches coming off of it and they're they're spaced well Let's see if I can get that to do that some more here their branches are they're pretty evenly spaced through the tree I, I think Chinese elm just do that anyway Lucky for us beginners. This one curls back. So take it back to a smaller branch there. I got one growing off the bottom here I'll take off. Don't think I can use this little tiny one growing off the top. Another one here that's growing at the same junction as the two main branches. I'm just cutting back to branches. And if they're going in the direction I want, that's the way I'm, that's where I'm cutting to. I can miss. I like the way these branches are flowing to the left here. But they're all kind of doing the same thing. pretty good. I could probably take that space up with this one and then keep this smaller branch. I think I'll do that. That might eventually pay off. Does this branch need to be there? Maybe not. Just some little tiny interior stuff here that's growing out of the crotch that I don't think needs to be there. This one's got really nice movement. This one's a little goofy. Let's see if I can straighten it out. Not literally, because I don't want straight branches. You want branches? I want branches that, that twist around and have character, but not at super uh, direct angles, like no 90 degrees, you know, something a little more acute. Like this branch, it, it comes off of this at just a complete 90 degree angle right here. It's really not what I want. That's what I did, though. I kept it, but... It's gone. I'm just trying to, I guess, keep it kind of tight because I uh, am worried about the root work that I did. Yeah, 
damn, that sucks. Well, so the earlier was a fail. I'm not sure why. I think I'm probably going to go back and watch my video again now. And uh, I'll think about, I'm going to see if this tree gets healthy, stays healthy, continues to grow. And I'll try and re-injure it and do it again. And that's all I can do. Appreciate you watching. Take care.